Welcome everyone, Adam the Iwu here. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the daily woo. This dumpster has flip flops on the doors. I wonder if that means you can only throw sandals away in there. In the early 2000s, I was in a band from Orlando and we played a show inside there back when it was a venue. And now it's a gift shop selling touristy merchandise. The old town Ferris wheels coming along nicely. Now they have the lights working. It's not operational and you can't buy a ticket yet, but the lights are looking pretty beautiful. Many, many years ago, the old radio DJ Wolfman Jack used to be a staple in this neck of the woods. And I do believe this used to be Little Darlin's, which eventually was turned into his nightclub. Wolfman Jack, the man, the myth, the legend, owned this place right here. I'm pretty sure. Now I am not 100% positive that this was it, but this is the only building that looks remotely close to those old photos. When the old Ferris wheel was here, there used to be a go-kart track for as far back as I can remember, even to my childhood, right here where this dirt patch is now. And there used to be a flying saucer UFO mounted on the roof right there. And inside here, was a laser tag place. In fact, you can still see on the ground, some of the paintings say, go inside here to play and play again as you exit it. These palm trees are growing directly through the roof of this old tiki bar area. And it appears that there is a wild creature here waiting for a margarita to go along with his meal. What do you have in your mouth? That is a bone. He's chewing on a bone. He's licking off the skin. I don't know what that came from, but it's kind of gross. For some bizarre reason, there is a hurricane simulator sitting in the parking lot of this motel. And I tried to get it to work, but there is no electricity making the wind move. But basically you open this door and you get inside here and you look out at the people in their rooms and the wind must blow through these holes here all over your body, simulating a real hurricane. What is that noise? Do you hear that? What is that noise? Is that a hurricane? No, it's coming from outside. I thought it was in here. I got a little scared there for a minute. It sounds like the wind is picking up. Listen. Well, the wind is blowing enough to close the door. But what you're hearing is this Vomitron. It's given that name because if you write it, chance of regurgitation is at an all-time high. No thank you. That's one way to park a bicycle. Oh, it's a bike rental place. It has their phone number on it. I thought someone just randomly parked their bike in that fashion. I found something out here that really does not belong. Over here, next to the registration of the hotel, is one patch of a miniature golf course, a putting green with a couple different holes where the golf balls go. This is it. This is the only hole. There's nothing over there. There's nothing over there. There's nothing but a parking lot there. It looks like now it's mostly just used as a trash receptacle. I'm ordering a checkers hamburger. I wonder if anyone's ever brought a checkerboard and played on the tables. I wonder if that's frowned upon or welcomed here at Checkers. Or you could really throw them for a loop and bring a chessboard. That would blow some minds. My favorite thing about this ride is that they have the little spill protection area. Because if you're watching there, you do not want to stand underneath the mouth shrapnel that will end up on top of you. Okay, that's gross. I was about ready to eat. I just said something 
Ooh, now I'm losing my appetite. When I got my food as I exited the window, I went to take a drink of my beverage and there was no straw in it. So instead of doing this, I did that. It was very awkward. And the person in the drive through line thought I was losing my mind. A lot of classic cars out here. Here comes another one. Oh yeah. Not a bad hamburger. It's interesting how in Florida they're called checkers, but everywhere else they're called rounds. Whoa, look. All decked out for the holidays. California is known for their 99 cent store. Well, here in Florida, we're going full dollar. You got that extra penny to spend. Admit it. Fresh baked. You also gotta love the old school cigar store Indians, but his buddy's looking for him. See his buddies in here scouring the horizon for his friend. Oh, look over there. He's looking for him. So that guy is looking for this guy, and this guy is looking for this guy. They are doing major construction out here to basically bring it back to the way it used to be back in the late 80s, early 90s. This George Burns painted on the wall has been here since 1991, the first time I visited, as well as the cause himself. You could just be chilling here and over your shoulder without you knowing, Bill Cosby back there smoking a stove. I think having a neon light up hot dog sign at some point in my life, I want to own one. That, that's goals right there. What? Dad is temporarily closed? What are all the fathers going to do out here? Because they're going to be completely temporarily Oh, wait a second, wait a second. It says road. There's some golf carts. According to the back bumper, it says they are rental cars. Does that mean you can rent them for your home or do you just rent them for the day to drive around the streets of Old Town? I think my favorite is this one. For $7,000, you can have Boss Hogs mobile in golf cart form. I kind of, I think that would be super cool. Across the way there is a door, but you have to walk through a huge beer keg to get inside. Now, I don't know if he's still over here. I have to check, but I want your opinion on something. Right through the gates at Fun Spot America, which is the secondary fun spot in Orlando, stands this guy. And he is wearing a red tie and a blue shirt, but his face kinda, sorta, could be implied that this is a Walt Disney-esque type figure welcoming you onto the property. Am I off base on this? It doesn't, it's an exact resemblance, but I think it might be alluding to that. What do you think? Eh, probably not. It's probably all in my mind, but it would be great if Walt was saying, come ride the go-karts. That's a really bad Walt's impression. Would you say this is petrified and would you say that that item is petrified and would you even say that maybe that one is as well would you oh would you the trunk of that car. What are you doing, Santa? Hopefully he's not disposing a body. It's one of the it's one of the bad boys and girls. Now that is a beast of a vehicle. If you ride around in that thing, you would be considered in the cool club, that's for sure. Oh man, watch. Watch closely. 
these people up here are on the string. They're doing the countdown and there, they're about, there they go. Oh my gosh, you can hear the wind hitting their bodies. One pug life? I have to be honest with you, I know very little about cars, but I do like looking at them, especially old historical ones. Can't beat them. This one's for sale. The price tag says $9,900. So for only like $2,000 more, you can own this instead of the Boss Hog golf cart. I think I'd go with this one. I like it. And anything with fire and flames drawn on it is automatically a win-win. That's cool. I've always been drawn to vehicles like these. Maybe it's the Clark Griswold inside me. Not that it looks like the family truckster, but you get the idea. And still standing strong is the truck from the Patrick Swayze movie Roadhouse. And that woman has climbed up inside the tire, just like so many people before her to get a photo. Swayze sat right there too. In all honesty, I don't think Patrick Swayze sat in that tire, but it was used in the scene in Roadhouse where it busts through the glass at the car dealership. So it's possible that he sat there, but well, I like to think he sat there for the sake of argument. Okay, he sat there. Gosh, look at this little guy. Are you driving this truck? Are you a truck driver? You making a delivery? What are you delivering? They let you have a driver's license? They'll give anyone a license here in Florida. You dog. Now I'm not arguing the fact that this really is legitimately owned by the Orange District School, but this van looks like something Michael Myers would drive. Michael? No way. It really does exist. Shop smart. Shop S-smart. You got that? I'm standing on the sidewalk next to the street in downtown St. Cloud. There's my old apartment that I lived at for a few years, moved out of there about five and a half years ago. And every day I would walk out of the door right behind this pole. I would get in my van that would be parked right there. I would drive down the road a couple miles to work at the feed store. Seems like a lifetime ago. It doesn't even seem, doesn't even seem like me when I think about it. I played bass and sang in a band called The New Threat. That was a tattoo shop. We opened up the tattoo shop and played inside for their grand opening. We also played a handful of shows at this bar called Big D's. The bar is closed. It has been for years.
Life is funny sometimes. And I like comedy. Vlog over.